At this point, we've installed, configured, and verified our environment running with the supplied default Derby database. We have some Oracle settings here that we'll be using for the Enterprise Dashboard configuration. One important thing to note is that the Enterprise database can't share the same tables or schemas as the Registry database. You'll only have one Enterprise Dashboard and related Enterprise database in a dev test installation, but you can have multiple registries and each registry needs its own database or databases. In DevTest Solutions 9.5, the database properties for the Enterprise Dashboard database are defined in the dratus.properties file. Earlier releases stored Enterprise Database Configuration details in the local.properties file. So let's start by opening the Dratus Properties template and save it as an active properties file by removing the leading underscore. Okay, we've opened the Dratus Properties file. And what we'll do is save as and remove the leading underscore. So we need to do two things. First, we need to disable starting of the Derby database for the Enterprise Dashboard. And then what we need to do is specify connection information for the type of database we intend to use. So let's start by disabling the Derby database. We scroll down in the file, and you can see here that the disabling of the Derby database is uh, commented out, so we remove that. And the second thing we need to do is we need to specify template information for the uh, particular database we're interested in. As you can see here, there are uh, sections in the template for supported databases. There's Oracle, Microsoft SQL, DB2, MySQL, and actually Derby as well if you've got special configuration for that. The database we're going to be using is Oracle. So we uncomment the properties in the Oracle section to make them active. Let's do that now. As far as the settings go, the driver name stays the same. But uh, as far as the URL is concerned, we have to supply the host and uh, SID, and we also need to supply a username and password. So if we look over at our settings for the database, we can see that we have the username, password here, the dev test, and the password, and the database server has an IP address, and the port is 1521, and the SID is ENTD. So that's what we're going to use. So going back over here, we change the host to be that address and we specify the SID to be ENTD. We have a username that we supply, which is going to be devtest. And we have a password, which is CA Aura Password 1 in our case. Okay, so now we save this file. So what will happen is that the next time the Enterprise Dashboard starts up, it's going to log in to Oracle using the supplied user and attempt to create the necessary tables. Note that the step of setting up drivers required in previous versions of DevTest is no longer required. For initial creation of the database, the supplied Oracle user must have the Create View system privilege. If your security policies don't allow this, there are DDL files provided in the Lisa Home database directory that the DB administrator can use to create these tables in Oracle, or any of the other supported database types. So at this point, the Duratus Properties file has been configured to connect the Enterprise Dashboard to the Oracle database. The next time the Enterprise Dashboard is started, it'll connect and we'll be using the new database.